So I did a series of food reviews from food and drinks that come out of Tokyo, Japan, that either you can't find in the US or are very hard to find in the US. And it was amazing. It was awesome. So if you haven't had a chance to check those out, make sure to. It's on TikTok as well as Instagram. Uh, with that, it's at I'm Mind Mine on TikTok as well as Evan C. Anderson on Instagram. But with this, there was one item, one item that I couldn't review when I was in Tokyo. And that is the world's spiciest instant ramen. Now, is it truly the world's spiciest? Well, we're going to find out. So this right here is supposedly the world's spiciest instant ramen. And I got this at Village Vanguard in Tokyo, which is an awesome store if you haven't been there yet. It's a lot of fun to check out all the pop culture and food items and whatnot. So check it out when you get a chance when you're in Tokyo. We have Japanese on the packaging, but as well as Korean. And in the Korean here, it says King Yomra. King Yomra is the king of death in Korea. So will we see the king of death? Do we have a death wish for trying this? Maybe King Yomra will make it for us. That's even better. Either way, we're going to find out, is this truly the spiciest out there on the market? Uh, there's about 527 calories. There's about 16 grams of fat. You also have about 14 grams of protein and 84 grams of carbs. And on top of that, in the ingredients, you have flour, salt, chili powder, paprika, onions, carrots, and many other ingredients, including uh, yeast as well. So will this come all together to make the world's spiciest ramen? Well, let's go ahead and make it. Now, it's going to take about three cups of boiling water. You're going to add the ingredients and boil it for about four and a half minutes. And then from there, add on any vegetables or egg that you so choose. So let's get to cooking. Well, we have the world's spiciest ramen in this bowl right here. Mm. Now, is it spicy? Is it spicy? We're going to try it out now. And, you know, it wasn't too hard to make, honestly. It was fairly quick, simple, tear open some bags. Now, it did have some seasoning casualties. But other than that, most of it ended up in the pot. We were able to mix it all together. And we're going to try it right now. Here goes nothing. Now I can see the dehydrated vegetables that we added in. So we have the seaweed, we have the carrots, we have the onions. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit, a little bit in here. Give a little bit besides the noodles and the actual sauce itself. 
which has that um, that yeast seasoning powder in it that has the paprika, the chili powder. And there was a lot of it, by the way, a lot. That biggest bag that you saw, that biggest sort of container was the seasoning itself. Oh boy, here we go. Splish, splash, I was, well, hopefully we won't be taking a bath. Okay, all right. So at first, who? At first, the initial flavor is ramen. This your your basic sort of instant ramen. It has that initially, for like the first like second or two. And then you start feeling a burn. You start feeling it kick in. And so after about two seconds, it's like this sort of super warm feeling. This just super warm heat wave that hits your mouth. And it's still hot. Like I'm feeling it in the back of my tongue, the tip of my tongue. I'm feeling it in the back of my throat. There's a bit of a burn there. There's definitely a bit of burn. It's not just the temperature. It is the seasoning. Now I can imagine for folks that eat meat, if you're really into beef or pork, chicken, that would go really well with this. You could also do tofu. I would also say eggplant could go well too. Get some Japanese eggplant, bake that or um, saute it up, throw it in here. That would be quite good as well. Overall, I would say world spiciest. Mm, I would doubt that. Honestly, I've had Thai food that's way spicier. I've had some ramens that felt like they were pretty similar. Uh, oh, from an overall flavor point of view, it's pretty basic. It's it's nothing to call home to and be like, hey, this is amazing ramen. It's okay. It, it tastes like instant ramen. Um, just has definitely a bit more of a kick. But like I said, you yourself could kind of spice it up, if you will. By adding in eggplant, tofu, beef, chicken, carrots, uh, putting in some green onion, and just kind of playing around with it and making it your own. I mean, in the end, ramen is really just about kind of making it your own. It's a sort of Asian soul food in a way. It's just supposed to make you warm up and feel good. So, you know, this is a good base for something that you could probably make really, really well. So just take it for what it is. It is spicy ramen. I wouldn't say the spiciest, and um, it's it's pretty basic, but it's a good foundation for something that you can build off of. So there you have it. Yomra, world spiciest ramen out of Tokyo from uh, Village Vanguard in Tokyo. And uh, it's okay. It's not bad. It's okay. Would I recommend it? Sure, once, why not, just to try it, just for the kicks. But other than that, I probably wouldn't go back to this unless... I knew exactly what kind of vegetables I wanted to throw into this. If I added my own and just really mixed it in there and let it simmer over time, then yeah, I think it might be a pretty interesting base. But by itself, eh, I'm okay. But with that, once again, check out all the food reviews that I have up on TikTok, which is at mine, I mind mine. And then from there, check out Evan C. Anderson on Instagram uh, for even more videos as well as photos. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.